right a hand punch Maxmister, something we spent a lot of time developing trying to get right. So let's have a bit of a look. All the planes we have here are bench style planes, they were a Bailey setup. Uh, the bare material for the body is ductile iron. Let's have a look at the size of the planes. So we have number four, smoother, four and a half, a little bit wider. Five and five and a half, same principle. So this is jack planing, so jack of all trades, bit of everything. Then you come up to something longer. These are both tri planes. They are more suited for planing up the long lengths, get them together. So a tabletop is the ideal example. So brand new number five. Haven't played with this. Comes in a nice box which helps protect it. So I'll play. A few other little bits. Try number five. Go through a few features with you before we do anything. So as we already said, the, the sole is high ductile iron. That will take the knocks and dents and abuse a little bit better than standard grey cast iron. The frog, again, same sort of thing. Everything is precision ground. Wooden handles, plastic ones make your hands sweat. They don't feel right. The blade and the chip breaker. So we have our blade. Let's have a quick look at this. So our blade is 3mm thick, this is high carbon steel, tempered to 60 degree, 63 Rockwell. So it holds its edge, it has pretty much already been sharpened, so it should work straight out of the box. We're going to put it back in and go with it straight off. So we have a primary bevel, 25 degrees. The sharpened edge is right on the front, a little bit more shiny, is 30. The chip breaker, again 3mm thick, this is inspired by the ones we used to have in old wooden bench planes from years ago, a lot thicker. So we put the two bits together. Gonna slide this up. A little bit nearer, that'll be good. Tighten it up. Back into the plane. Now we have movement knob, moves the blade forward and back. We have lateral adjustment, side to side. Blade goes in. These are a bevel down style plane. Tighten up. Cap iron. I'm going to wind the blade forward. Now I'm using the test block to see if I'm level across the whip. So cutting just there quite equally. I'm playing around with the lateral movement just to see where we are. So a little bit of wood, let's see what happens. That's a good start. Gently winding the blade forward, trying to find our cut. So as we said, this is straight out of the box. Get a little bit of drag. So reduce the friction, a little bit of candle wax. So we have our plane. We have a few things in the box. We have a sock. So you can store it inside the sock. That will protect it, stop it getting damp, stop the rust. Another thing, spare blade. Why two blades? It means you can actually sharpen both, so if you're away from the bench or the workshop, you don't have your sharpening station with you, you can go off and sharpen it, take the blade with you, you've got two blades ready to go. You can also set them up for different angles, so therefore if you want, like we've got 30 degree, you'll do a bit of everything. If you get some very wild or difficult wood, you might want to go up the scale, 45 degree bevel on the front. Hopefully that gives you a bit more of an idea, so something that's straight out of the box, that's how it comes.